In an age where technology seems to be replacing paper, the Robert McLaughlin Gallery presents obsolete concepts. It's a project that came together about five years ago. Um, guest curators uh, Melissa Bennett and Olivia Lamb were having a conversation about the printed page and books and how they love the feel and the smell and the texture and how that's becoming more and more uncommon. You have the iPad and you read books on there or you have your Kindle or you read your news online or on a blog. Eight Canadian artists will display their work exploring the idea of printed paper and whether it's relevant in culture today through sculpture, audio, paperworks, and digital images. So this piece is Cindy Stelmakowicz. Uh, it's, it is a dictionary. She's uh, drilled a hole right through it and has submerged selections from it. Um, some of the artists in this case with the dictionary have explored um, obsolete words that we don't use anymore and have um, taken sort of pieces of our culture and made them obsolete. Whereas, you know, you'll hear in the media that um, new words are added to the dictionary, like, you know, the two four is added to the dictionary or the Timmy's is added to the dictionary. So she's exploring the fact that words are also being moved, removed from our history as well. Artist Karen Trask has a different concept of a once was essential French English dictionary. Using a craft process has created yarn using the pages. So she twists the pages into a yarn and has woven it like a, a ball of wool, basically. Um, and that explores the idea of, again, um, dictionaries and French English dictionaries. Translations are, are very, um, they're very quick now. It, you know, people even on their cell phones can quickly translate something. They don't need to um, go to, you know, pull out a dictionary and do it. But it also um, relates to storytelling and the concept of, um, sort of, as the saying goes, that if you're telling a good story, you're unraveling a ball of yarn. The exhibition runs until January 2nd. For Downtown Oshawa News, I'm Stephanie Foden.